Every year, we list the hotspots that we're going to be looking to invest in personally and invest in for our clients over the year ahead. But how did the areas that we picked out for 2022 actually end up performing? And will we still invest in those areas now? Well, to assess our performance, we need to know what we're measuring against. So Nationwide has year-on-year -year house price growth at 4.4%. So you could say anything above that is a win. But we're going to hold ourselves to a slightly higher standard. HomeTrack looks specifically at cities, which is relevant for us because our picks are all in cities. They look at changes in price across 20 cities, and they publish the average. And the average for 2022 was 6.5%. So when we're judging our hotspots, we're looking for growth of above 6.5%. So how did we get on? We started out by picking what we refer to as our safe bets. The first area we chose was Liverpool, which put on growth of 8.5%, which sounds good, but was only enough to earn it ninth position in Home Tracks list. That represents a real cooling off because it had been in the top three for the previous few years. Next, we picked up Manchester, which grew by 9.3%, putting it second in the growth league, beaten only by Nottingham, which was another of our hotspots. That topped the list, putting on growth of 10.9%. Our final safe bet was Leeds, which grew by 9.1%, enough to earn it fourth place. So pretty good. We managed to pick out first, second, and fourth. Third place went to Birmingham. We also picked out some up and comers. So these are areas that we didn't necessarily expect would be absolutely brilliant over a year, but we thought represented a good time to get into these areas because they were on their way up. First was Sheffield, which grew by 8.6%, putting it in eighth position. And next we picked out Belfast, which grew by 8.2%. So only enough for a mid table finish there, putting it in 11th. But the rate of growth in Belfast has increased. So it does appear to indeed be up and coming. And our final pick in this category was Derby. So Derby doesn't appear in the main list of 20 cities. It appears in a separate list of 65 cities that gets published quarterly. And the latest data there shows it growing by 9%, which if it had appeared in the main list would have been enough for fifth position. So really performing strongly there. And again, the growth rate was up. The previous year it was growing at a rate of about 6%, and now it's growing at a rate of 9%. So again, seems to be fitting the bill of being up and coming. We also picked out some areas to be looking at if you were feeling brave. And over the space of a year, at least, that bravery did not pay off for our selections. So we picked Newcastle, which grew by 6.3%, putting it seventh from bottom, and actually the only location we've talked about so far, which was below the UK average. We also picked out London, growing at 4.3%, which put it third from bottom. But the reason for picking it out last year was on the basis of it being a long-term play, a potential entry point for a long-term hold. And rents in London have been growing extremely strongly over the last year. So actually, maybe not a bad time to be getting in if you've got a long-term view, but a very weak performer over 2022. So on the whole, pretty happy with our selections. Although we did make predictions about some other things last year, you definitely won't want to go and check out the podcast episode about those not worth it. But will we be investing in these locations again in 2023? Or will we pick out some different areas to have our focus? Well, go and watch this video next where we reveal all.